Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. Love you more, Tara. If you're new here, like the video, like the video, like the video. And if you're so feel called to do so, subscribe to the platform, all right? For my returning tribe and my family members, peace and prosperity, I mean it every time I say it. And every time I say it, I mean it, I truly do. It's going to be a general message, so all zodiac sign, masculine and feminine energy. Um... You know, keep your discernment with you. Keep your wits about yourself. You know what I'm saying? I always take, talk to God, you know, to make sure, you know, if something actually is resonating with you, okay? Uh, I'm going to use my singing bowl to clear the energy. I'm going to call it my protection. Then we're going to get started. Matter of fact, let me grab my singing bowl, y'all. All right. Got to put it over here. And let's go. Let that vibrate through your spirit. I am spiritually protected from all who wish me harm. I am physically protected from all ill will that may have a negative effect on my safety, health, and well-being. And so it is. This is going to be... Uh, I don't think I'm going to use any tarot for this message, but we are going to start out with the Kipper deck, okay? We're going to get the cards out with the Kipper deck, and then we're going to go from there, okay? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Bottom of the deck, we have courthouse. So it could be a court decision. Ooh, sudden wealth, coffin, expectations, great fortune, wealthy man, journey, and outcome, adjudication. Courthouse at the bottom, the outcome is adjudication. So we have on the board so far, let's tell you the energy we got. We have, okay, 11. We have, uh, November, Sagittarius or Scorpio. Somebody birthday could be November 11th for some of y'all, okay? And because this could be a Sagittarius, some of y'all, somebody birthday may be actually December 11th, even though this is November. The coffin, we got 19 breaking down to a 10. That is an ending. That's a completion. That's a closing of a cycle. Okay, somebody birthday could be on the 19th. That can be in an October, Scorpio or... Uh, Blah, 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 a Libra. That can be a Libra with the birthday, October 19th. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Next, we have more Scorpio energy. Also, uh, August Virgo. Somebody birthday could be August 28th. Okay. We also have the 26th. Somebody could be 26. We have, again, with the August Virgo. Somebody's birthday could be August 26th also. So we got we can have a possible August 26th, Virgo, August 28th, um, October 19th, okay, for a Libra. And again with the November Sag of Scorpio here, okay. We also have another 10 with the journey card. We also have the 30. So somebody could uh birthday can be on a 30 or somebody could be 30, somebody could be 28, somebody could be 26. All right. There's a change coming. Mm. Some of y'all that could be because of the way this out, it came out sudden wealth, great fortune, coffin, wealthy man, expectations, journey, and then adjudication. Some of y'all whether you notice or not, some of y'all, you could be connected to a wealthy man in some way, shape, or form. This wealthy man may not be in this realm anymore. This wealthy man could be, um, mm, could be like, uh, Aries, um, uh, April Aries, okay? Or the end of April, uh, uh April Taurus or Aries. Somebody's birthday could be April 13th. This person may have passed over. Somebody's birthday could also be April 19th. Okay, whoever this person is, they're not here anymore. So this could be an emperor coming out of this wealthy man. A wealthy man is like emperor energy, king of pentacles energy. So again, this could be like a April 13th or 19th Aries who passed away. Could be um, an Aries Taurus or a Scorpio. It also can be a king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I do see a lot of Virgo. So whoever this person is, they're, they're gone. Okay, they, they pass away for some of y'all. Or for some of y'all, this wealthy man is ending something. 
to come towards you. That could have been somebody, they was a tasser who was expecting something, but this person could be in and out of relationship. So some of y'all, this person could have passed over and they could have left you some, just keep coming out. Or some of y'all, there's a wealthy man who's closing out a cycle with someone. They could be in a relationship. They could be in a relationship with either uh, August, end of August Virgo, okay, an October Libra or Scorpio. They could be ending things with this person. They could be in going through something like divorce proceedings or some of that. For some of y'all, I said some of that. <laughs> For some of y'all, somebody could be going through a divorce. And I feel like, uh, believe it or not, whoever this uh, emperor is, it's going to go in their favor. So somebody could be leaving someone. Somebody could be leaving someone behind. Some of y'all, you ain't expecting this, but somebody could be traveling towards you. They may have baggage in tow. They could have uh, their clothes. And that. Somebody could literally come to your home, scoop you up, and they may have, like, train tickets or something like that where this person want to go with you you know it's far or some of y'all this person has every um, intention on going a distance with you because i'm looking at this train okay so 10 is the uh, closing of a cycle but this is the beginning of a new one right so this is like an ace of wands. So someone here could be leaving someone. They could be ending something now. This this person could be wealthy, okay? Some of y'all, it could be somebody who passed away who left you something. But what I'm getting more or less is this wealthy man, whoever this is, they can absolutely be an emperor. They're leaving someone and they're taking. So this is going to be great fortune, like sudden wealth for you. Because whoever this person you're about to be connecting with, they got money. They got a lot of money. And they left someone, uh, you know, for whatever reason. We're going to find out why they left them, but they definitely could have divorced someone. I feel like this is someone who was married to another person. They're coming towards you. And now, I really feel like this train is giving me, if, if you don't have to, like, travel, if this person don't want to take a trip with you or they don't want to move with you, which I feel like death will come in due time. That's what most relationships, uh, you know, where the relationship solidifies with a man and woman. Normally, they want to get away from the thing that they was used to in the past. They want to start off new and fresh. Say, like, if it's a divorcee and you're a divorcee, you may have left behind, a, uh, you know, a person, a past life, whatever not, a connection. You may have let go of things, associate them. This man could be doing the same. Y'all could be on the same vibration. Y'all could be mirroring the same... Um, experience at this time both of y'all could be closing out something major in y'all life to move forward not knowing that look you're going to meet this person unexpectedly or this person is coming into your life some of y'all you don't expect this and you don't know it needed but someone's coming they're leaving someone and they're leaving someone with expectation. This could some could have been somebody very high maintenance, somebody who, who was very materialist, somebody who expected this person to never go anywhere. They could have got with this person for sudden wealth, you know what I'm saying, great fortune. They knew this person was going to provide a sense of stability, covering for them. So, you know, someone could have really held on to somebody, like for a long, or held on to somebody for a long time. Mm-hmm. Somebody leaving somebody. That's it. That's all. They're ending something. But whoever you are, feminine or masculine, I feel like you're mirroring this person. You're going through the same experience they is. You know, uh, you could be divorcing or leaving a relationship, a long-term one that's not working out for reasons unbeknownst to me. I don't know. I, I, you know, hey, I'm, I'm just reading the energy. And this person is leaving somebody behind. I feel like they started to see, instead of somebody, expectations giving me, instead of somebody appreciating what this masculine was offering, this person and started to expect things instead of being grateful so they was dealing with someone who didn't know about gratitude like i said somebody very materialistic very selfish and i don't feel like this masculine aligned with that uh they don't they don't align with this person having long days with this person it could have been a brief time. It could have been a long time. It doesn't matter. They're ending it, okay? We got 1010 here. So 1010 may be of significance. I'm going to look for my book, and I'm going to try to find that. If my book up here, y'all. My angel book might be downstairs on my my bookcase thing, okay? Because I read a lot. But, yeah, somebody leaving somebody. Somebody leaving somebody who, you know, like I said, they could have got with this person. Maybe whoever this masculine or feminine is, you know, they really got with somebody. They was looking to make something work, go the distance, okay? They had good expectations for someone, but someone just wanted to be taken care of, okay? And for some of y'all, this is this is a man that's leaving a woman, okay? Or you could be a woman leaving a man. Like I said, both of y'all could be mirroring the same 
experience right now. Both of y'all could be going through something with people, okay? Let's cut. This is the Yin Yang Oracle. Give me sudden wealth. One more, please. I'm going to put like three on each card. There we go. We have self-care, comfort zone, clinging, nurture, and compassion. This is falling on top of sudden wealth. So some of y'all, somebody is loving themselves. They walking away from someone that they stay with out of comfort. This could be an unconventional relationship. Somebody maybe was staying with somebody because they didn't want to be alone. I feel like this person now is nurturing their self. They have more compassion for their self. So whoever this is that, that's connected to their self know this is someone that they stay with. Like I said, they didn't want to step out. Somebody didn't want to venture out. They was with somebody for a long time. They got comfortable. They got used to this person. So now this person is thinking about their self. They're leaving somebody. And whatever this sudden wealth is, they taking it with them. All right. All right. Give me coffee. I go one. Two, and they go three. All right. So some of y'all, somebody could be dreaming about you. Okay. Somebody could have got dreams about you, messages in their sleep. That's the reason, another reason, excuse me, why they ending something with someone. Okay. Present abundant gratitude. Again, this is somebody who has gratitude and assist, um, I said ancestors, assistance and spirit guys. So somebody is being guided towards you. Somebody is being guided to come towards you. Whoever this person is, they're very abundant. This is happening in present time. This is current energy. So this is going to be happening soon. If you're single or if you're leaving a relationship, believe it or not, you're going to step right into another one. Probably the last relationship you're ever going to uh, stand in, step in and not in a bad way because it's falling on top of coffin. So whoever this person coming in towards you, they're your other half. They're being spiritually guided towards you. They dreaming about you. And that could be one of the reasons why they leaving this person. Now, expectation. Let's get this person energy. What is expectation? Oh, okay. Ooh. 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 All right. Come on. Okay. There go one more. And then. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. First card popped out on top of expectation was contracts, career, commitment, Saturn. Whoever this person they was connected with is a part of their South Node, okay? It was a lesson for them. This was something they were supposed to go through, okay? That's why they probably was so attached to this person because this was like a karmic of this, okay? All karmas are not bad. Just because you just because you say karma doesn't mean like a person is a bad person. But this person, I feel like was a bad person, okay? Apology, forgiveness. This is someone that you may have ran across before, but, you know, at the time, maybe they was connected to whoever this energy is right here, right? Celebrations, gift, and abundance. This is one of the reasons why, not the one to read, this is the main reason why this woman stay connected to this man or this man stay connected to this woman for such a long time, okay? Because I feel like both of y'all going through the same thing because someone here, they didn't want to work, they broke, okay? And also, they could have commitment issues, okay? This person was locked into this karmic contract with this person, Saturn, until they got the lesson, right? So now, look, celebration, gifts, and abundance. I feel like, again, somebody started expecting some, something from someone instead of being more grateful that the person was giving them anything. I feel like this is a woman or a man that was well kept. They didn't have to work. They didn't have to do nothing but just be there. And they couldn't do that because for some of y'all, you know, this person has commitment issues. This person could have cheated. This person could be a liar. This person could have gotten into some illegal shit to get one of them get rich quick kick. Um, get rich quick schemes. Damn it. Come on with the words now. Nah. <laughs> but literally, some of y'all, whatever this is, this person is going to be a gift to you. They're going to bring in celebration and abundance. Everything that they was giving this person, they're going to give the U times 10, okay? They was they was attached to someone for all the wrong reasons. They was attached to someone for, for a long time because they needed to learn a lesson with this person. That's why now they being free from this person. Give me great fortune. One, two, one more. All right. <laughs> all right. It says spring seeds. I got that upside down. Excuse me, y'all. So some of y'all, this person could be coming in in the spring. 
Again, with the April. That's why I was getting Aries. Some of y'all, this is going to happen in April. So someone could be coming your way. They, they, they closing out a messy divorce probably because whoever this person is, they could have been trying to drag this person for money. They wanted great fortune. I feel like they not going to get nothing what they wanted. I don't feel like this type of person is going to leave them. I picked this up before. I don't feel like this type of person that, you know, going to leave this person without anything because for some of y'all, they could have helped this, this man or woman in some aspect at, at a point in time in their life. But again, it got to the point where this man or woman got so abundant that the partner, the man or the woman they was connected to didn't have to work. They didn't have to do nothing but be pretty, sit there. And someone here couldn't stay committed. They couldn't stay faithful. Look, truth of expression. Someone here too, you know, I feel like another reason why this man or woman is leaving is because they couldn't be they they couldn't be they self with this person. Okay, and also truth expression again. Somebody is a liar. Somebody don't know the truth. If it bit, if it come around and bit them in their ass, they come know they don't know how to tell the truth. This is someone who keeps up drama too. Look, party external. This is somebody who likes to party. They could be into some drugging, some type of shit that this other, this masculine or woman don't resonate with anymore. Maybe at one time they was able to party together, but someone here has a different outlook on life, so they moving forward. Mm. Some of y'all, too, there was a lot of third parties here. They could have found out that this man or woman was, you know, really messing around with a lot of people. And they sitting up here, you know, they didn't build this legacy and they taking care of this person. This person don't got to work or do anything. And they still was ungrateful. So, yeah, they got to go. That's common sense, right? Wealthy man. What we talking about with the wealthy man? They go one, they go two. One more, please, and thank you. Ooh, there you go. Hold on. Something fell on the floor, and I'm not going to take it because I have my three cards, but I am going to tell y'all what it is. Whoever this wealthy man coming towards you, transcendence and unity. Unity. This is like a union coming together. I'm not going to take that but because I, I got my three cards, but on top of the wealthy man, we got ego, vanity, and pride. Some of y'all, this person may have had a big ego. They needed to stay attached to this man or woman, okay? Whoever this wealthy man, it could be a man or woman. But whoever this person is, maybe they had a big ego. That was part of the lesson. They need to go through an ego death. So God put them with someone who can teach them, okay? Look, it's a lack and doubt, okay? This is someone at one point, no matter... You know, sometimes people can have everything externally. They can have all this good stuff, all these fancy cars, big home. But someone can have, like, low self-worth. They can have self-esteem issues. But if you see the person on, on the outside, they are with their parents, you would never think someone has, like, thoughts like this, okay? So someone here could have stayed with someone or got with someone... That needed to teach them. Someone needed to go through an ego death. So whoever this wealthy man is, they could have been very, you know, they could have been like very egotistical. They could have been disrespectful. They could have been a lot of things on a negative spectrum. Okay, that's because whoever this part, this person, this one, this man or woman, they are connected with this person. South Node. Now we have Venus here offered Libra or Taurus. This could be a Libra or a Taurus. You could be a Libra or a Taurus who's about to receive this offer. But this is someone who actually won't love. Now, with that rose, the way it looks on this card, it's blooming, which means whatever this feelings is, whatever feelings they have for you are growing and they are starting to, whatever connection they're leaving, they started to, you know, not believe in that connection anymore. And it's because, you know, they was only there for Saturn. They was only there to learn a lesson. So whoever the person they letting go of, they really didn't love the person anyway. Someone just didn't want to be by themselves. So this wealthy man could have stayed connected to this toxic woman or this wealthy woman could have stayed uh, connected to this toxic man. Give me two more right there. And then one more, please. Oh, that flew. I saw that though. Mm, okay, I like that. So on top of the journey, we have projection loss and fragment so some of y'all like i said this may this person may come towards you in the spring because they're ending something they end they close now a major cycle in their life and they're going to do it they're going to need to do a little bit of healing okay they're going to need to do a little bit of healing they, they're going to have to go in hermit mode for a while okay but let me tell you something whoever this person is they're wide open that third eyes open and heart chakras open and they see clearly okay this is someone who may have spiritual gifts this may be someone who knows a lot. They know more than they speak, okay? They may have a clear sight into the etherogram, okay? The upstairs, okay? Hell, maybe downstairs too. But a lot of y'all, look, this is wish fulfillment. My fat hand in the way. 
wish fulfillment, okay? So whoever this person coming towards you, like I said, it's, on, it's falling on top of journey. When I looked at that train, this is someone who's coming in towards you. They want this to go to this. And this person is willing to put in the work. This person may travel a lot for work or, uh, you know, maybe a part of what they're going to offer you is going to give you a different view of the world. Maybe you're going to be able to travel because this this man could be connected to a lot of money or this woman. Take away it resonate, okay? And last but not least, oh, okay, two more. Let's get adjudication. What's the outcome for this? All right. One more, please. Thank you. We have at the bottom of the deck, we have Mercury messages, travel, and communication. This is what this man or woman going to be offering you who's coming towards you. I feel like y'all can look forward to hearing from this person in the spring. Right now, currently, some of y'all, this could be a Scorpio. They could be going through a transformation. This person is going to disconnect from someone, okay, some type of gold-digging man or woman. They're going to disconnect from them because they went, they going through a spiritual awakening, okay? Like, if it's a Scorpio, Scorpios are downright scary psychic, okay? They may not tell a lot of people that, you know what I'm saying? Scorpios are very private people. So whoever this person is, they ain't telling nobody what they finna do neither. They not telling nobody where they going, what they finna do. They just gonna, they just gonna go and heal themselves or take care of what they need to. Some of y'all, you're gonna make a lot of memories with this person. And nostalgia gives me that you could have known this person in a past life. That's why they dreaming about you, okay? But this judication, them getting rid of somebody, and I mean just what I said, getting rid of somebody, disconnecting. This is karma, balance. This is justice for y'all. This is balancing out the scales for both of y'all to come together. Whoever this person is, they doing this right now. They doing some work. This person has went through a big transformation or going through a transformation with Saturn. They've learned a huge lesson with whoever this person they was connected to. Somebody who liked to party, drugs, somebody who liked to cheat, somebody who's a liar, somebody who liked to keep other options. Somebody is really walking away from somebody like that. And when they do, look, Mercury message travel communication, they're going to come directly towards you. When the time is right, and I feel like the time is right, it's going to be in the springtime for this to come in, right? We have changed courage. This person is leaving someone. It took them a lot of courage to do this, to make this change, to walk away from this. Okay, shadow side, moon, dark night. Is, like I said, somebody going through the dark night of soul. Somebody got with someone because they needed to go through an ego death. On the, on the positive polarity of this message, this is someone who is a good person. This is someone who takes care of the person that they love. They got with somebody though. You know, that was greedy, selfish, superficial, and internally, that's, this may not be what this person resonate with, but externally, they could have did a lot, kept up appearance for other people, but this person is letting this other person go because they've learned their lesson. They've been able to rectify and reconcile with the past. So now this person is more open to love, more open to nurturing, caring relationships, more open to relationships that's more balanced for them, okay? They're leaving something behind. Well, look, disharmony, triggers, conflict, whoever this person they was connected with, this person, it was never peaceful, okay? This person triggered this, per this man or woman a lot, and there was a lot of conflict in this situation, right? Guilt, sabotage. Some of y'all, the reason why they stay with this person because they have a guilty mindset. They feel bad about something. They holding on to something maybe that's not even theirs to carry. And it could have also caused a lot of sabotage in their life in general, okay? Limitations and fears. I feel like this was what this person was allowing themselves to be held back by fear. Again, my new words for this year is keep your faith high and your fear low, okay? Faith high, fear low. Family home commitment. Some of y'all, this had a lot to do with family traditions, how people viewed them, what their family expectation was them. They could have stayed connected because I feel like someone is leaving a marriage, okay? We got facade beliefs because, first of all, them and the person they connected with, their beliefs differ. This person may have tried to please their family or, or their friends or whatever not by saying connect to someone that they didn't even, you know, have faith in. They didn't even carry the same belief. This person did not even resonate with this person. They could have been doing something. They could have stayed committed to somebody for their family. Cycles, change, and completion. Like I said, this is over with with this person and whoever they're leaving. This man or woman walking away from someone, I feel like whoever you are, man or woman, you and the person that you're supposed to be with, y'all supposed to be with, y'all are sharing the, the same experience experience right now y'all are mirroring each other toxicity bound and pattern this person is breaking away from toxic patterns okay and toxic patterns has a, has a lot to do with someone that they've been connected with some of y'all 
You could be with somebody because I see party external. They could have had a third party that kept pulling on that energy, which was keeping them from transforming. Now someone, for some of y'all, this could be like someone is seeing things the right way because of clarity, they third eyes open. So they see the difference between you and another person and they could be making a decision off of that. And like I said, whatever they're doing, they're not going to tell anybody what they're doing. Growth, summer, this person's ready to grow with you. They're ready to change the dynamic of a relationship, whether you with this person or not, right? Distance, retreat, time out. I just said this person's going to go in harmony mode. After this person finished with this, whatever is going on with this court, okay, they have to, they may have to, um, talk, uh, make a decision with a judge about parental visit. Okay. If they got children with another person, they may have to, uh, set up a, a visitation schedule or something like that, or someone to mediate someone to always be there when they see the kids, whatever the case was going on, all this is going to be done by the springtime. And when that is done, this person's going to be ready to go to distance with you. They're going to be ready to make changes, all right? Closed off, guarded, resistance. If you are with this person, this could have been, this could have been a reason why they was resistant towards you. Because whoever this third party they got with, for some of y'all, if this is a third party situation, for some of y'all, somebody just leaving someone like this. This person could be really putting their guard up to someone, closed off. But like I said, if this is a third party situation, they could have been really resistant towards you because they wasn't sure. And first of all, you know, a lot of them was trying to please their family and friends, other people. They was worried about everybody Everybody except for their self and you in this situation, right? <laughs> Some of y'all, this can be your twin flame that's coming towards you or your wit. Epiphany, breakthrough, like I said, clarity with that third eye. Someone third eye is wide open, all right? Healing inner child. Look, this Saturn, this is a lesson. Whatever this situation is, this man or woman is leaving it was a lesson, okay? It was for them to heal their inner child, okay? Some of y'all, there's going to be something happen between you and this person in the, in the autumn month. So that is September, October, November, all right? Something big, it could be like a proposal, harvest. The relation, relationship could reach its peak, which means its highest level, which is, you know, everybody want marriage and commitment, okay? Spying, watching, inspecting. Some of y'all, if you're not with this person, this is exactly what they doing. They waiting. They making some changes. Someone here could be, you know, taking a little time out to, like I said, heal, okay? Repair themselves. This divine masculine, Okay? So this is a man for a lot of y'all, okay? I'm talking to a woman. And look, trust, because divine timing is at play right now. Stability, harmony, and flow. This is what this masculine want to bring into your life. This the energy they stepping into, so this the energy they want to bring to you. This the energy they're going to bring to you, all right? You also have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Ace of Wands. It could be a fire sign for some of y'all. That is your divine masculine, Okay? We also have Rebirth Winter, okay? So, like I said, this year is going to be really big for this relationship overall or if this is someone coming towards you or if it's somebody you with. It doesn't matter. If this is somebody you with, there's a rebirth taking place, which y'all are going to be able to see the very positive brush of that in the winter months again. So, that's towards the end of the year. Storm Unexpected. This is like the tower moment. That's a sudden shift change. I feel like it's going to be a big change for everybody involved, okay? Freedom, leap, Uranus, opportunity. Someone could be an Aquarius here. Aquarius is a star card. That is wish fulfillment. That is alignment. That is destiny at play, okay? And more than anything, it's healing, all right? So, because of whatever this person is doing, that's going to be a lot of opportunities open up for not just them, for you too. It's a remember awakening. I feel like this is what, look, right here. Remember awakening and then we got divine feminine. So somebody know who you are now, okay? They see clearly. They know who you are. There is no question about it. No one can fool them. If this is somebody you with and they had a third party, they kept staying attached to, for a lot of y'all, it was to please their family and friends, okay? And some of y'all, you know, it's because they need to learn a lesson from this person, and if this is a new person coming towards y'all, they leaving be they leaving this other person because they remember who you are. They have a, they have been awakened to who you are. They're divine feminine. They're divine masculine. Okay, so they're leaving. Look, reflection and projection. The more this person started to focus on itself, the more they started to you know reject whatever projection this third party or this person they was connected to was throwing on them because it wasn't their energy. Look, renewal and spark. Like I said, if you with somebody, your relationship is finna take a turn for the better this year, okay? Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. This talks about victory, truth. Okay, truthful communication, honest communication, victory, success. Um, this is a win, okay? But someone here, if you with this person, they want to be honest with you now, Okay. 
deception, temptation, surrender, release, and purge. So if this is somebody you with and they was easily tempted by like a third party, they are tempering that. They've, they've learned to surrender this relationship. So if there's a third party in your relationship, somebody surrendered that other person. All right. They're no longer tempted by this outside person. OK, if this is someone who's coming towards you, they could have found out that the person they walking away from, they was easily tempted. They kept a lot of third party. They kept a lot of open relationship with other people, which at times and in times could have put this person in their head a lot. Thoughts, isolating thoughts. OK, really overthinking. Nine of one stress. Nine of swords, rather. Excuse me. Transition and union. Regret, repression, then ace of waters. Somebody here too, if you with somebody, this relationship is finna change too because some of y'all, somebody somebody really regret repressing their emotions for you. Ace of cups, somebody, you like somebody true love, but they could have been really downplaying that, you know, for a third party. Okay? And it got fake detours and divine intervention and control tactics. So let's say like... Mm, what if this third part is like a sex worker or they're very sensual, very sexual. They was able to get this person, you know, by throwing on a few heels and, you know, lingerie and tempting this person. They'll come on, run to them. They ain't doing that no more. This person not, 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 not uh, 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 this person is not going to be so easily tempted by this third party, okay? Or again, if there's somebody new coming towards you, they are not tempted by this person anymore. Self-love creation and intention because they have better intentions for their life now this person is actually ready to create but now they're creating from a place of love instead of a place from fear hurt and then you know the ashes being burnt being hurt confusion neptune and illusion again this was an illusion this was a lesson for this person separation and longing some of y'all you know this person may have to separate from you for a while this person may disappear and you're going to you be wondering like why they just up and leave because they ready for union so in order for them to be ready to actually put in the work with you they're going to need to take a little separate separation from you a little time away but when they do come back for some of y'all somebody may be leaving right now they'll come back in the spring they're going to be ready for this look they're going to be ready to give you this ace of pentacles some of y'all this could be a virgo towards a capricorn receive and open all you need to do is be open to receive Self-worth expectation. Somebody love they self now. Guarded, vulnerable. Some of y'all, you're going to need to be vulnerable with this person when they come back around, okay? Action, courage, Jupiter, and beginnings. This going to be a new beginning with y'all, but it's going to be a new beginning surrounded with, like, love and luck, okay? A lot of prosperity. Higher self-activation because both of y'all could be going through some type of transformation. Chemistry and passion. This person has a lot of passion for you. Decision. They're making decisions right now that's going to be beneficial to you in their uh, life moving forward for growth, okay, for things to balance out, for good juju to come into the relationship. Detachment and cold, whoever, if this is a person who got a third party, they're detached from that third party. They're cold. They're not dealing with that person anymore. If this is someone leaving someone to come towards you, before they actually decided to leave that person, they had already emotionally detached from them. They wasn't even really feeling them. They wasn't engaging with them neither, possibly because of all the uh, third parties. They didn't find out that this person had... It's a past lack suffering. Past lack and suffering. Sorry about my phone, y'all. So someone here could have had a trouble past. Again, I feel like they got with this person to learn something, okay? Avoidance and stalemate. Because for a long time, maybe this, this person was avoid healing something, looking at something, doing something, right? It's a attraction, Mars high. Again, they could have been really sexually attracted to this other person, the person they're leaving, or the third party. They could have been, it could have been all about sex, okay? That could be something that your person have. Your person may have like a sex addiction or again the person that they was engaging with they do a lot together but it is part of their south note this was something they were supposed to break away from this lifetime for some of y'all they did it sun strength empowerment some of y'all this could be a leo sun talks about illumination new cycle um power it, it, I did say light, then though. If I'm not light, that is illumination. This is all about joy, peace, prosperity, balance, okay? It's a form and structure, solid foundation. Someone here is ready to build a solid foundation. Even if this a person leaving someone, they ready for something more structured than what they was in, okay? They ready for something serious. And if this someone you with and they cutting off a third party, they ready for y'all relationship, y'all foundation to be solid. So, this person wants to rebuild, okay? Look, reunion, soul ties. You and someone share a past life. This person coming in is new person, or if you with a person, the reason why 
they might need to take time and they're not going anywhere because y'all share some type of soul bond, which this person cannot get away from you. Alchemy, ancestors, again, their spirit guide. They're being spiritually guided to balance something out with you, work this out with you, North Node cosmic purpose because you are meant to be in this person's life. So that's what's going to happen. Someone is either coming towards you or for some of y'all, there's a relationship that you're in that's under construction right now, okay? Let's get a couple of these. Oh, it's a feelings. Emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you, feeling them fully so they no longer hold me captive. I feel like you and the person that's leaving someone or cutting off a third party, both of y'all had to really get into y'all heart center. Maybe both of y'all needed to do some inner childhood, you know, healing. Self-sufficiency. The ultimate self-sufficiency is relying on God. It doesn't mean hiding in a cave and saying, I don't need people. Instead, Instead of saying God is my source and I am willing to receive all the help, love, and support that wants to come to me. So some of y'all, again, somebody could left, definitely be cutting somebody off and they could be going into hermit mode. If someone is leaving someone, they're going to go into hermit mode. For some of y'all, if you with someone, they might disappear. They might ghost you. But it's for a higher purpose. You have to just, you know, you have to just go with the flow and keep it pushing. And you know what I'm saying? Just work on yourself. Keep on doing what you need to do in your life. Okay? All this is going to come together. And I feel like for some of y'all, it's going to start to make a big turnaround in the spring. Okay? One more, please. One more. One more, please. Oh, Lord. <sighs> it's too many cars. One more, please. One more, one more, one more. Thank you, divine universe. We have true offering. That's your last message. It say, may I release the fear, the fears, illusions, and addictions that keep me from true offering. May I relax into your plan, trusting that the next steps will always be shown. Use me, love. Use me for the highest. I am yours alone. This is what I'm talking about. You and this person are going through some type of spiritual awakening especially the masculine the masculine is really going through it okay they are really going through it but this is a big lesson for them and i feel like this lifetime they got it so now someone can truly offer you something something special something balanced and i feel like both of y'all are coming together because y'all are meant to be of service in some type of uh way shape or form all right it says you stop using the universe to try to get what you want and start asking love to use you. You offer all and want to be of service. Ironically, many desires become fulfilled without grasping or manipulation. This person wants to give to you equal. They want to be of service to you and you of service to them. I feel like y'all come together for a higher purpose. There is a big transformation in a relationship or there is someone closing out something because you and this person are supposed to build together. Find peace within. Laters.